everyone. Today I want to share three things with you that make my life as an artist a bit simpler. First of all, it's the brush pen that almost everyone has and if, if you're anything like me, you would have discarded it by now. In fact, it was a set of three and the other two have somehow gone missing. And then there's a nifty little thing called the proportional divider. And lastly, it's the water soluble graphitone pencil. Uh, now, coincidentally, these are all by Derwin. Now, I bought these little brush pens thinking that, oh, they're so portable. I might even be able to use them for regular paintings, but no way. That didn't happen. But I did eventually find a way to make their existence a bit meaningful for me. I filled them up with soapy water, and that's just a tiny drop of liquid soap and rest water, and I started using it to apply masking fluid. All you have to do is squeeze the little soapy liquid so the bristles are nice and wet and start applying masking fluid. And even if you forget to rinse it immediately afterwards, which I have many a times, all you have to do is squeeze some more liquid and rub the bristles and get the gunk out of it. That's it. They're pretty hardy. The bristles won't come out. And I have been using this for over a year now and it hasn't given me any trouble. So yeah, there you are. Nifty hat now. Next is the proportional divider. Now I know most of you can easily use the handle of your brush. To do the measurements and get the proportions right but if you're like me and you can't trust your eyes this tool might be your new best friend all you have to do before each painting is set the ratio by adjusting this nut up and down to the desired ratio And for example, I've used this recently for this painting and this has been set to this ratio. So if I go from here, the eye, and scale it up to the half imperial sheet or even the distance between two eyes, which I don't really have two eyes, but there you go. Last thing is a water soluble graphitone pencil. Now I don't do a preliminary sketch before painting any subject because I hate pencil marks and I also prefer to keep my paintings loose. But when it comes to painting subjects like animals where the slightest change could be all the difference between a rat and a rabbit, I prefer to get my reference points down. So it ensures that I don't run out of paper as well. Now put down lightly. It dissolves completely without leaving any trace. Now it comes in various grades and can be great for value studies or tonal studies which I never do but if that's your thing these are great for it. That's the lightest value, that's the middle value, and this is the darkest value. So, that's it. The three little helpful L's in my studio.